Welcome to my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and StampinPretty.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and an avid fan of paper stamps and ink. And I share tips, ideas, the latest promotions on my blog daily. I also sell the products that you see in my online store. So not only am I passionate about it, but you can purchase these gorgeous Stampin' Up! products. Today I'm going to highlight some celebration free gifts. Celebration is one of our biggest promotions of the year and it starts on January 3rd of 2018. And there's two levels where you can earn exclusive free celebration gifts. One is for every $50 you spend, you can choose a $50 gift. We also have a $100 level that's new this year with a little higher end gift at the $100 mark. And of course, that's before shipping and tax. And on today's uh, stamping, we're going to work with Heartfelt Bloom's stamp set. It's gorgeous. Stampin' Up! has developed this beautiful photographic style stamp, uh, very unique uh, to Stampin' Up! that uses layering to give this rich definition and almost that photographic quality. In addition, what what I think makes this an incredible free gift, and it has three very useful sentiments that you can stamp. Um, heartfelt thoughts that we're going to use today. Thank you that I used on a card yesterday. I'll show you both of them. As well as thinking of you. Beautiful font. Very, very versatile. Simple. Um, one of the additional items at the $50 level is this shimmer ribbon. Gorgeous. It comes in Calypso Coral, Bermuda Bay, and Basic Gray. All in varying widths. Um, and then last but not least, let me show you this card I created yesterday. I used the stamp as well as the sentiment and that Bermuda Bay 1 8 inch shimmer ribbon. But I also used one of the additional gifts. Uh, and this is called the Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series Paper. This again is another $50 free gift for all this. It's 12 by 12 paper in all of those amazing patterns. I'm just trying to show you quickly. And I used this pattern. It's just a really simple little stripe for the background of that card. And for today's card, I decided to vary it just a little bit because I want to keep it interesting and show you just how versatile this stamp is. And I think it's a wow. This is one of our Stampin' Up! note cards. You get 20 pre-scored cards and coordinating envelopes. Here's an example of one of the envelopes. Um, ready to go for both the novice or an experienced stamper who wants to make a quick card. Um, so again, I used this to stamp. Um, I used the additional um, sentiment here. I popped on one of the subtles enamel dots in a heart. I loved how the word heart and the little heart play off of each other some linen thread and the background stripe is from a new product in our occasions catalog called Tutti Fruity Designer Series Paper. It's in a 6 by 6 size which is great for those of us that love card making. And I am going to do a little stamping with you. Um, a few tips for you right off the top. I cut our grid paper into quarters and I use one quarter um, and below I have one of our piercing mats, which I use for stamping. It has just a little added give, especially important when you're using our clear photopolymer stamps. But I think it's also great for these, um, they're called distinctive, but these photographic quality stamp images. I've cut a piece of cardstock to three and three quarters by two and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp the image. And I'm going to look at this card right above here so that I can remember how I lined it up again. So that's just my little cheat sheet. And I'm using some Calypso Coral. Little note for you I found in doing these, rather than just tapping on the ink, and I'm going to do it side down. I do that with my larger stamps. I actually swiped it a little bit. It really helped it get in the grooves because they're just very tiny. Um, uh, definition and those beautiful details and I don't want to miss anything so I want to get it make sure I've got it nicely inked 
And then I'm going to look, as I said, at that other image for the orientation. And I can see I need to put it about like this. And I'm going to come down. I'm going to push nice and even. On a big stamp, you don't have to pound it, but I like to really make sure I'm getting even pressure all the way around. And since this stamp's a little bigger than my hand, I kind of move around and just make sure. To me, that is extraordinarily beautiful and you can see how I would layer that and I would complete the process but I also had a little bit of fun with this one um, I created a uh, envelope using it as well and so I'm gonna layer um, keep my graph paper down actually I'm gonna flip it so that I don't accidentally transfer any ink onto these white envelopes I have a little kitty here. Here, my kitty keeps jumping up while I'm doing the video. And I am going to layer another piece below and all the way to the crease on the envelope flap. That way I can stamp over as well as each direction and I won't get the bottom side full of ink. So it's really simple. And then I'm going to ink this up again. I just think this is just one really simple detail. So before they see the card, they're gonna get this little sneak peek of what's inside. Probably didn't need to ink the whole thing, but I did. And let me think about which way I wanna put this on there. I think I really will love that daisy image. So I'm gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna let you know that I want you to, where the crease is, I want you to make sure you put enough pressure because you gotta push just a little harder there because you're dealing with the crease. And you don't want to pick it up and find out, oops, it didn't quite transfer. So that is, as you'll see, pretty perfect. Isn't that just gorgeous? And how pretty this all looks together. Just imagine receiving this in the mail and then getting this gorgeous piece inside. So I appreciate you stopping by and watching my wow video. I have almost 300 additional paper crafting videos on YouTube. Please stop by my blog, stampinpretty.com, where you can shop and learn about paper crafting. I post daily. Uh, you can sign up for my newsletter and exclusive monthly specials, um, as well as get ready for celebration starting January 3rd. Finally, I love hearing from you. So if you have any questions about these new products, the measurements on the card, or any other details or just simply want to say hello, I love it. So please leave me a comment on YouTube. Um, I typically get back to you within the hour um, and will be happily answer your question or just thank you for your comment. Thank you and bye-bye.